the past is gone. But let's just really zoom in to uh, to manifesting. I mean, I'll tell a parable from back in the, I think it was the 1990s, where I went to Michigan in the 1990s, and uh, I was giving a talk in Lansing, and um, I gave the talk, usually we have a break in the middle, so in the break, in the middle of the talk, this lady came to me, and she came up during the break, and I was having a cup of tea or something, and she said, she said, I'm the manifesting lady. And she said, I can manifest anything. Ask anyone here. I have manifested soulmates for people, houses, cars, boats, money, careers. I'm the manifesting lady. And she said, I can manifest anything. I said, that's wonderful. That's absolutely wonderful. I said, when we come back, you, I want you to share a lot of your manifesting stories with the whole group. It'll be very inspiring to this course group. And then I'll take it from there. <laughs> she said, okay, that's great. So she came and she did the whole thing and she, t she told me, people were very impressed. They really wanted to like, have her as their counselor and teacher <laughs> after, after her little spiel there for 10 minutes on her manifesting. You know, they're like, okay, <laughs> set that course aside there a minute. I think I got a little, I got a date with destiny with the manifesting lady, you know. But, but anyway, after she took for a while, then I started to quote from the Song of Prayer. Some of you know the Song of Prayer and, and the Ladder of Prayer and that Jesus gave us and everything very well. Well, actually, you know, when you go up the ladder more and more, it's more like less that you're asking for things. You can't help but asking for, ask for things when you believe in lack, you know, that you can't help. It's just the way you ask. It's the way your prayer is. It's the prayer, as you might say, arrested down at the lower rungs where you're just asking for things and things can come. Then you go more and more towards states of mind. But basically, when, he, when we really get into healing, I said, it's great, all this manifesting stuff is really great, but, but actually, whenever you are manifesting, you are asking for the past to be repeated in some way that you prefer, thinking you know what you prefer. You, oh, oh, oh. That, oh, 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 and at some point, after you've manifested all these things, it's made dawn on you, is the question, what do I really want? Do I want peace of mind? Do I want peace everlasting? Do I want peace eternal? You see, there's nothing wrong with any of it. It's all just the power of the mind, and the mind waking up to its own power, and the manifesting is being used as those stepping stones by the Holy Spirit to, sh to show you that you are not a victim, that you are not helpless, that you are not powerless, but you have a very, very, very powerful mind, which is what Abraham Hicks, uh, Hicks materials teach. And then you go up to the point where, okay, if I'm asking for the past to be repeated in some way that I prefer or some way that I like, I'm still asking for the past to be repeated. I still want something from the past. I still believe the past offers me something. And what does A Course in Miracles ultimately teach us? The past is gone. It can touch me not. The past is gone. The future is but imagined. These concerns are but present defenses against the truth, against the, the present moment. They're, they're defenses. The past and future are actually defenses. Why would you want to repeat a defense against the holy instant? You see how if you take it deep enough, you go, aha, uh -huh, that sneaky ego, <laughs> it was trying for, to have me settled with crumbs. Uh -huh. Crumbs <laughs> from the past. And, and when you really follow it out, you know, in the end, peace of mind is more important than a new car. It's more important than soulmates. It's more important than a new house, or a million dollars, or a billion dollars, or a trillion dollars, or whatever you want to fill in. Winning the lottery, on and on and on and on. Peace of mind is no small gift at all. And we are so worthy. <laughs>